I know that you know the message of the Bible is you know love love your neighbor, uh, love yourself, know that you are not perfect, uh, but God made you in His image and all that stuff. For sure. Um, it just it's it's not it doesn't match with my life anymore. Can I respectfully say that you're wrong? Yeah. By what it actually teaches. Jesus said to love the so, sinner. you ever heard the gospel before? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to explain it in a way maybe how you, you might not have heard of before and to see if this can kind of make things make sense. So, the Bible says this, right? The Bible says that if you will repent and believe in Jesus Christ, for he has died for you, he was buried, and he rose again from the grave. The Bible says if you believe in him, he says he will give you the gift of everlasting life. This is what God wants. He wants to give you everlasting life. And the Bible says if you will place your trust and faith into Jesus Christ, is what the scripture tells us. He says you will pass over from death to life, and you will be given the gift of everlasting life. You see, I'm not out here saying that. I'm better than anybody out here. You can look me up. I'm tattooed up. I done a lot of lying. I done a lot of done a lot of had a lot of lust. I had a lot of broken anxiety within me. I was filled with anxiety. I was filled with stress. I had a lot of issues going on in my life. And I was very depressed at one point. At one point I became very suicidal. You know, this is and, and, and it's because of sin and my own decisions that I have made in my life. But Jesus, I'm here to let you know that Jesus healed me of everything I've ever been through in my life. Jesus has overcome everything that I've been through in my life. And even though I have fallen short of God's glory, Jesus still found it. He still had mercy upon me to save me from my sin. And I know that he can do the same thing for everybody else because this is who God is. Seriously, ladies, if y'all want to have a conversation, we can. I'm not. You want to have a conversation? Yeah, go on. Let's have a conversation. Come on, you can call, I'm being serious, you can talk in the mic. Yeah, for sure. What do you want to say? Nah, he said, I'm saying anybody wants to have a conversation. What do you want to talk about? My name is Wes. What's your name? Richie. Richie, nice to meet you. So let me ask you this, do you believe in God? Uh, I used to, but I do not anymore. What happened? Uh, my parents were very uh, prejudiced against me whenever I was coming out, whenever I was young. How and, old were you? Uh, I was in... I'd say sixth grade whenever I figure out my sexuality, eighth sure. grade whenever I figure out my gender. Okay. <laughs> and just the church in general, uh, it was very much like, we love you for who you are, but then they would just treat you a lot differently. For sure. Mm -hmm. I get it. Yeah, I mean, that's what the Bible says. There's a lot of people that they look over um, their own self. Like, they don't judge. Like, they judge people too right away, Jason. And they say, like, oh, because you're not living righteous or like living, like, how you're supposed to live, mm. you know, they judge you. And then, then themselves are, most of them are hypocrites for the most part. Mm. So let me ask you this, Richie, have you ever read the Bible from cover oh. to cover? Um, I wouldn't say cover to cover, but I have read a majority of it. I, got you. I was a Christian for, the, I'd say about more than half of my life. <laughs> got you. Did, yeah. you grow, did you grow up Catholic, you said? Not Catholic, Presbyterian. Cre Presbyterian. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you this, um, do you understand the Bible? as message at its core yeah i would say so uh i know that you know the message of the bible is you know love love your neighbor uh love yourself know that you are not perfect uh but god made you in his image and all that stuff for sure um it just it's it's not it doesn't match with my life anymore i got you i, I feel like a lot of the christians out there are very hypocritical for sure and you know they like to point uh, fingers at other people before they work on their own for sure. sins and their own stuff. For sure. um, and I don't really want to be equated with people like that. I know there are good Christians out there, um, but but it's not y'all. Yeah, the the majority of the majority of Christians out there that I have met, I'm like y'all y'all gotta work on your own problems before you talk to me about them. For sure. I'm working on my own stuff. For sure. You know. So let me ask you this: Can I respectfully say that you're wrong? By okay. what it actually teaches. Jesus mm -hmm. said to love the so, sinner. you ever heard the gospel before? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to explain it in a way maybe how you you might not have heard of before and to see if this can kind of make things make sense. So, the Bible says this, right? You know how sin came in through the world? Mm -hmm. I'll try to make it short. So, after God created Adam and Eve, mm -hmm. He created them to have a, God created them to have a relationship with Him, right? Mm -hmm. After He created everything. He gave them every single thing. He's like, hey, in order this to be an actual relationship, I have to give you a rule to see if you love me back. 
Mm. Because if you didn't, then it won't be an actual relationship, right? You'd just be like an iPhone or anything. You'd just be like, all right, God says do this, that, and the third. So you just do, so you just, so you just do whatever um, he says. But God gave us all a free will and a free mind, right? That's what the Bible says. But Adam and Eve chose to disobey God. So sin has entered through the world, okay? And the Bible says through that one man, sin has entered through the world and caused us all to sin, which brought upon us death. Every single last one of us. This is why um, we all die. This is why our world is very chaotic. This is why um, you might have issues with homosexuality or lying or stealing because the Bible doesn't just condemn just one sin. It's a whole list of things. It's not... So when I come out here and I talk to people, I don't come out here and just single one thing out. That's, that's not the point. The Bible says we have all, as collective, as a whole group, we have all fallen short of the glory of God. And the Bible says the soul that sin shall die. Okay? That's, he says because God is good, he has to punish sin. He's a judge. So he says whoever sins, the only way for you to pay that sin back or pay that fine, you have to go to hell for all eternity because you sin against the holy God. But I know that's a, I, I, that message alone, that is, the, that, is, that is the true message what the Bible teaches. But the Bible also says this. He says, because you made an image of God, because he says, I find no pleasure in the wicked down in their sin, he says, I will come down and pay your fine for you as a free gift. So this part is the real core of the message why I'm... No, I am. I'm just, letting, I'm just explaining to my side so you can hear. So, are you following along? So, so this, is, so this is the final of it. So, Jesus said, "I will go for them. I would, I would take their, I would take their penalty for them. I would pay for their sin by dying on the cross, because that's the payment to pay sin back is death. He was buried, and then he rose again from the grave, giving everybody an opportunity to repent and to believe in Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, the moment that you believe in him." The moment that you believe in Jesus, he says you would pass over from death to life and you would have the gift of everlasting life.